travelers, my name is Juliana and that's my husband Martin. We've been traveling around the world for four years and fitting it into our lives any way possible, whether that be volunteering in hostels, working on cruise ships, taking short weekend adventures, or living as expats working remotely. Our goal is to show you how to have unique and memorable trips no matter what your circumstances. The Roma neighborhood is the hipster heart of Mexico City. Located between the Centro Historico and the edgy Condesa neighborhood, this is the perfect place to go if you guys love food, coffee, boutiques, and walking around. Best of all, it's close to some of Mexico City's best attractions, and it's also one of the safest neighborhoods. Now, Roma used to be the neighborhood of Mexico City's upper class, but all that changed after the 1985 earthquake that caused mass destruction. Since then, the residents have really come together to create a sort of renaissance for the neighborhood. You'll see a lot has been remodeled. You'll notice these beautiful art deco mansions, colorful street art, and of course, amazing food options. We're gonna be here only for a day, so it's very early, so we're gonna get some coffee. Let's get started. Now I am starving, so I went to Quintin Cafe, which has some delicious looking pastries and some really, really good coffee. The reason we picked here is because we heard that they do their coffee really, really well. So, bon appetit! coffee and a pastry we kept walking until we found this beautiful huge garden and there's something going on behind us I don't know they're just dancing freestyling it we love it but anyway we also came across a little farmers market set up I think it's called Mercado de Cien it should be open every single Sunday and we got another little snack because we were still a little bit hungry so Martina and I are gonna share this vegan twisty thingy mabobber <laughs> and then we're gonna keep exploring around the neighborhood no. Well guys, two of the places we wanted to show you today have fallen through and one we were so excited about, it was Mercado Roma, which is a really cool place where they have all these food stalls of the famous restaurants in Mexico City. You can like get your things from different stalls and you eat. However, they do not allow recording. So I can't take you guys in. Um, so we're trying to figure out something else to do. We're like researching restaurants to do for lunch and I think we found a Thai food place that we want to try. So, you know, that's just how things go when you're filming with this huge camera. Sometimes they turn you away. We were also turned away from a bookstore we really wanted to show you. So yeah, just know that um, apparently Mercado Roma is really, really amazing. We just weren't able to try it in this video. We're in Galanga Thai House and we haven't tried any Thai food since we're uh, back from Thailand, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it looks amazing. Like, hello, pineapple. The presentation is amazing. Just look at this. This is my, my pad thai. Oh my god, I didn't even... And then this is egg and then the shrimp. It's amazing. Looks so good, and there's this is a reservation only place, but somehow we got in, and uh, there's tons of people here. It looks have, super cute. I have a lot of friends, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> Connections. Our lunch was amazing. It was so so good. It definitely lived up to all the hype of the food that we had in Thailand. Now we're gonna keep walking around the neighborhood, and we have a museum that we're gonna take you guys to. Well, hopefully they let us in. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what we're gonna show you. Next stop for us is Museo del Objeto del Objeto. This is a super cool museum located in the heart of Roma. It's kind of unusual. It's a celebration of Mexican history, but there's also some really unique objects there as well. Super cool antiques. So we're gonna go walk around. They do let us film inside, thankfully. So let's go see what it's all about. Rio 
de Janeiro. It is a beautiful little plaza and actually there is a replica of Michelangelo's David in the middle of the fountain. Behind us is Edificio Rio de Janeiro. It also is nicknamed Casa de las Brujas because they used to believe that a witch lived there back in the day and she would do little spells. Uh, nothing more to say about it, but it is a pretty cool building, nice and shady area and a great place to rest on a hot day like today. Just about one block away is Colima Street, which is a great place to find lots of trendy boutiques. You could definitely spend quite a bit of time here adventuring in and out and seeing everything that there is to offer. And by this point, my Fitbit was going crazy, letting me know that we hit 21,000 steps from all the walking we had done this day. So we felt it was time to eat. We headed over to Santino, which is an amazing Italian restaurant. They have outside dining as well, and their pizza is just incredible. Definitely a great way to end our time in this beautiful neighborhood. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you let us know some other things that we should do in Roma next time we're here. Of course, this is a beautiful neighborhood and we couldn't possibly see it all in one day. Also make sure you're following along my channel to see more of our journey throughout Mexico. Plus, we're moving to the USA very soon. Martin is from Mexico and it's gonna be his first time living in the USA, so you definitely don't wanna miss our, uh, well, my reverse culture shock <laughs> into the USA and your culture shock for the first that's time. That's right, that's right. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. Bye! Hey, thanks for watching this video. Did you know we have a Patreon? All our members get access to monthly income reports, exclusive podcasts, access to our private Facebook group, and even a copy of my ebook, Puerto Vallarta Like a Local. Business and first class patrons also get a postcard from us each month. Thanks so much for the support. Click the Patreon logo on the screen to join our family.